So this is the hand controller for the power your kayak. It just goes back to the lead there. Um, so yeah, easy enough. Bicycle cable, inner and outer. I've rigged up. I actually cut up a whipper snipper for this controller piece um, and rigged up a kill switch. Basic as, simple as. These are a lot easier than the 3.3 Mercury's because they have a, these have like a throttle body in them. Uh, uh, what would you say, like a butterfly valve where the 3.3s have a big slide valve so they need more leverage which makes it a lot harder but this is this one here is super easy and that's your throttle and basically just rewired the kill switch extended all the wires of course you use heat shrink and all that just to be safe because basically if you can earth it out on any sort of water it'll kill the engine and that's the end of it. And yeah, I just rewired it up into there. Um, this is a few of the questions I've been getting lately about it. Another thing is the steering. <clears throat> it's a strong, basically just strong steel bar, painted black, make it look neat. Um, a bit of like silicon tape on a big stainless steel U-bolt that fits around the whole um, leg of the outboard. And um, basically it's hooked up to my pedal. Um, when you're doing these, you've got to work out your leverage. So if your bar is long, you're not going to have the turning capability, but it will be a lot easier to turn. If it's shorter, you're going to have these really be able to do sharp turns, but you have to put a lot more effort into your turning, which can put a lot of strain on the, the leads, the joints, the pedals up the front there. So I went with this. This is a decent length and, um, I could do full lock at full speed and still be very stable. Um, so yeah, I hope that basically helps it out. Helps us out on how it's running and whatnot. And yeah.